The striking physical features of the Ainu were so different from other Japanese people that early European explorers mistakenly believed they were Caucasoid. Even today, the genetic origins of the Ainu remain an enigma, a story of ancient lineages, lost connections, and a people whose DNA still puzzles researchers around the world. The Caucasoid Ainu emerged from Victorian-era typology, which attempted to classify human populations into discrete categories based primarily on cranial measurements and visible physical traits. This gained momentum through the accounts of various Western visitors, missionaries, and researchers who encountered the Ainu during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Among the most influential early visitors was British explorer Isabella Bird, who in 1878 travelled to Hokkaido and stayed with Ainu communities in Biratori, documenting her experiences in unbeaten tracks in Japan. Her detailed descriptions of Ainu physical appearance and culture reached wide Western audiences, contributing to fascination with their supposed European-like features. Anglican missionary John Batchelor, who lived among the Ainu from 1877 to 1941, became one of the most prolific Western writers on Ainu culture and language, publishing The Ainu of Japan, The Religion, Superstitions, and General History of the Hairy Aborigines of Japan. These various accounts, ranging from missionary reports to adventure narratives to scholarly studies, created a substantial literature that consistently portrayed the Ainu as physically and culturally distinct from their Asian neighbours, with many authors explicitly or implicitly supporting Caucasoid classification. Early Western observers were particularly struck by certain Ainu physical characteristics that seemed anomalous within their preconceived notions of East Asian populations. Ainu men typically grew heavy beards and displayed abundant body hair, earning them the derogatory epithet Hairy Ainu, features uncommon among their Japanese neighbours. Additionally, some Ainu individuals exhibited relatively light skin tones, deeper-set eyes lacking the epicanthal fold common in East Asian populations, and what early anthropologists interpreted as European-like facial features. The most influential proponent of the Caucasoid classification was American anthropologist Carlton S. Kuhn, who in his 1939 work, The Races of Europe, and later in The Origin of Races, placed the Ainu firmly within his Caucasoid category alongside Europeans, North Africans, and various Asian populations. Kuhn's racial typology was part of a broader anthropological framework that divided humanity into five major races, Caucasoid, Mongoloid, Negroid, Australoid, and Capoid, which he believed had evolved separately from different Homo erectus populations over hundreds of thousands of years. According to Kuhn's classification system, the Ainu represented an archaic Caucasoid population that had somehow become isolated in the Japanese archipelago while surrounded by Mongoloid peoples. This classification was not merely academic, but carried significant political implications, particularly during periods when racial hierarchies were used to justify colonial policies and social discrimination. The persistence of this misclassification was aided by the relative isolation of Ainu populations and the limited interaction between Western scholars and Ainu communities themselves. Many early anthropological studies relied on small sample sizes, often measuring only a few dozen individuals, and were conducted within the context of Japanese colonial policies that actively discouraged Ainu cultural expression. The genetic complexity of modern Ainu populations has been further complicated by historical events following European contact and Japanese colonization of Hokkaido. Genome-wide studies indicate that contemporary Ainu populations carry approximately 29% ancestry from mainland Japanese sources, a contribution that reflects the dramatic demographic changes that occurred after the Meiji Restoration in 1868. The Japanese government's systematic colonization of Hokkaido brought massive numbers of mainland Japanese settlers to the island, fundamentally altering its demographic composition. From a population of approximately 17,000 Ainu in the 1880s, they became vastly outnumbered by over 250,000 Japanese settlers within just a few decades. This demographic transformation was accompanied by policies of forced assimilation that profoundly impacted Ainu genetic, cultural, and linguistic heritage. The 1899 Hokkaido Former Aborigines Protection Act officially designated the Ainu as former Aborigines and implemented comprehensive assimilation policies. These included forced adoption of Japanese names, prohibition of traditional cultural practices including language use, and systematic educational programs designed to integrate Ainu children into Japanese society. The law also resulted in widespread land confiscation, 
forcing many Ainu families into marginal agricultural settlements where intermarriage with Japanese settlers became increasingly common. Genetic evidence for this recent admixture comes from multiple sources. The presence of Y-chromosome haplogroups characteristic of mainland Japanese populations in modern Ainu samples. Unlike most populations, the Ainu retain extraordinarily high levels of ancient Jomon ancestry, while simultaneously displaying complex admixture patterns that reveal multiple waves of migration and cultural interaction spanning millennia. Modern genetic studies consistently place the Ainu at the periphery of East Asian populations. Recent analysis of ancient DNA from a 2,500-year-old Jomon individual known as IK002 revealed that the Jomon lineage represents one of the most deeply diverged populations in East Asia, splitting from other East Asian groups approximately 20,000 to 15,000 years ago during the late glacial maximum. The Jomon people themselves emerged from an early wave of migration out of Southeast Asia, likely following a coastal route that brought them to the Japanese archipelago before sea levels rose to isolate these islands. Phylogenetic analyses demonstrate that the Jomon lineage diverged from ancient East Asians before the split between ancient Northern East Asians and ancient Southern East Asians. But after the divergence of more basal lineages like the Tianyuan Man and Hoabinhian populations, this places the Jomon, and by extension the Ainu, who carry high levels of Jomon ancestry, in a unique evolutionary position within the East Asian genetic landscape. Modern Ainu populations retain between 66 and 79% of their ancestry from this ancient Jomon lineage, according to genome-wide studies. This extraordinarily high proportion of ancient ancestry distinguishes them dramatically from contemporary mainland Japanese, who carry only 9.31% Jomon ancestry on average. Mainland Japanese populations experienced major demographic transitions during the Yayoi period, 300 BC to 300 AD, when rice farmers from the Asian continent migrated to Japan, bringing ancient Northeast Asian ancestry that now comprises the majority component of Japanese genetic makeup. The Ainu's island location in Hokkaido and their hunter-gatherer lifestyle appear to have provided some protection from these demographic changes allowing them to maintain their ancient genetic profile to a degree unmatched elsewhere in the region. The paternal genetic history of the Ainu reveals equally compelling evidence of their ancient origins and unique evolutionary trajectory. Studies of Y-chromosome variation show that approximately 87.5% of Ainu males carry haplogroup DM55 and DM125, variants of the broader D haplogroup, that are found almost exclusively within the Japanese archipelago. This represents one of the highest frequencies of any specific Y chromosome lineage documented in a human population. Haplogroup DM55 is particularly significant because it appears to be directly descended from the earliest male settlers of the Japanese archipelago. Analysis of Y chromosome diversity suggests that approximately 70% of ancient Jomon males carried variants within this clade. This finding provides crucial evidence that the Ainu are not recent migrants to the region, but rather represent continuity from the Paleolithic populations, notably haplogroups common in mainland Japanese and Korean populations, such as CM8, OM175, and OM122, are entirely absent from traditional Ainu populations. Intriguingly, the remaining portion of the Ainu Y chromosome gene pool is dominated by haplogroup CM217 which shows clear Northern Asian affiliations. This lineage is distributed across Siberia and Northern Asia, including among populations around Sakhalin and the Amur River region. The presence of this Northern lineage provides genetic evidence for historical connections between the Ainu and populations across the Sea of Okhotsk, relationships that become clearer when examining the complex ethnogenesis of the Ainu people. Mitochondrial DNA studies reveal equally complex patterns that illuminate the diverse ancestral sources contributing to Ainu genetic heritage. Analysis of 94 Ainu individuals from the Edo era identified 25 different mitochondrial DNA sequence types, with 11 of these being unique to the Ainu population and accounting for over 50% of the maternal lineages. This high frequency of population-specific variants indicates substantial genetic drift and isolation consistent with the Ainu's island environment and relatively small effective population size. The maternal haplogroups most strongly associated with ancient Jomon ancestry include N9b and M7a, which are rare on the Asian mainland, but were common in prehistoric Jomon populations. 
These lineages represent clear maternal genetic continuity from the archipelago's earliest inhabitants to the historical Ainu, parallel to the paternal evidence from Y chromosome analysis. However, the Ainu maternal gene pool also includes haplogroups that reveal their complex population history. Haplogroups A, C, and Y, which are shared with modern Siberian populations and the ancient Okots culture people, are present among the Ainu but were not observed in Hokkaido Jomon populations. These maternal lineages provide direct genetic evidence for admixture between the indigenous, Jomon descended populations and migrants from northern Asia, contributing to the ethnogenesis of the Ainu as a distinct people. Regional variation within Hokkaido also reveals the complex demographic processes that shaped Ainu genetic diversity. Comparison of maternal haplogroup frequencies between southwestern and northeastern central Hokkaido shows statistically significant differences, suggesting that the formation of the Ainu involved multiple source populations and varied patterns of settlement and admixture across different parts of the island. One of the most significant factors contributing to the genetic mystery of the Ainu is the substantial influence of the Okotsk culture, a maritime adapted people who occupied the coastal regions of northern and eastern Hokkaido, as well as southern Sakhalin, from the 5th to 13th centuries AD. Recent ancient DNA studies of Okotsk culture remains have revealed that this population carried approximately 54% ancient Northeast Asian ancestry, 22% ancient Paleo Siberian ancestry and 24% Jomon ancestry. The Okhotsk people originated from the lower Amo River region and expanded across the Sea of Okhotsk, establishing settlements that specialized in marine resource exploitation. Their genetic makeup reflected this origin, showing close affinities to modern populations around the lower Amur, including the Ulchi, Nivki, and Negadal peoples. Archaeological evidence indicates that the Okhotsk culture people were skilled maritime hunters who developed sophisticated technologies for exploiting sea mammals, including seals, sea otters, and whales. Genetic analysis of modern Ainu populations suggests they derive approximately 22% of their ancestry from Okhotsk-related populations. This substantial genetic contribution helps explain several puzzling aspects of Ainu genetic diversity, including the presence of Northern Asian maternal and paternal lineages, the Okotsk contribution also accounts for the presence of mtDNA haplogroups that are common in northern Asia but absent from pure Jomon populations. The integration of Okotsk genetic elements into Ainu ancestry appears to have occurred through a process of cultural and biological assimilation during the transition from the late Jomon epijomon periods to the emergence of distinctly Ainu culture around the 13th century. Archaeological evidence suggests that rather than simple population replacement, this process involved complex interactions between indigenous Satsumon culture peoples, descendants of the Jomon, and Okotsk migrants, ultimately giving rise to the Ainu cultural complex. The Ainu language family represents another dimension of the mystery surrounding Ainu origins. Ainu languages form a linguistic isolate, with no definitively established relationships to other language families, despite numerous attempts by linguists to connect them to various Asian language groups. The language family historically included Hokkaido Ainu, Sakhalin Ainu, and Kuril Ainu variants, though only Hokkaido Ainu survived into the modern era before becoming critically endangered. The linguistic isolation of Ainu languages parallels their genetic distinctiveness and provides additional evidence for the unique evolutionary trajectory of Ainu populations. Some linguistic studies have suggested possible distant relationships with Paleo Siberian languages or other Northern Asian linguistic groups potentially reflecting the Northern Asian genetic components identified in Ainu ancestry. The polysynthetic grammar of Ainu languages, characterized by complex verb forms that can incorporate multiple morphemes representing entire sentence meanings, sets them apart from the predominantly isolating structure of Chinese, or the agglutinative patterns typical of Japanese and Korean. This grammatical complexity, combined with a vocabulary that shows only limited borrowing from neighboring languages until recent historical periods, suggests a long period of independent development consistent with genetic evidence for Ainu isolation. Archaeological and ethnographic evidence of Ainu material culture provides additional context for understanding their genetic origins and population history. Traditional Ainu technology and artistic traditions show clear continuities with Jomon cultural patterns, while also incorporating innovations that reflect their northern maritime environment and interactions with diverse neighboring populations. The famous Ainu textile tradition 
particularly the production of atus robes, from elm bark fibre, demonstrates sophisticated knowledge of plant processing techniques that have deep historical roots in the region. These garments were decorated with distinctive spiral and thorn-like motifs that served both aesthetic and spiritual functions, with patterns believed to provide protection against evil spirits. The embroidery work was exclusively performed by women and transmitted through matrilineal lines, creating visible markers of cultural identity that paralleled genetic inheritance patterns. Traditional Ainu woodworking, particularly the carving of ritual objects like ino, ceremonial sticks with curled shavings, and ikupasui, libation wands, reflects sophisticated understanding of local forest resources and spiritual practices that integrate seamlessly with their subsistence activities. These objects played central roles in religious ceremonies that emphasized reciprocal relationships with kamui, spiritual beings, inhabiting the natural world, a worldview that appears to have deep historical continuity with Jomon spiritual traditions. Despite the historical pressures that threaten to eliminate Ainu genetic and cultural distinctiveness, recent decades have witnessed remarkable efforts at cultural revitalization that provide new perspectives on Ainu identity and origins. The 1997 Ainu Cultural Promotion Act, which replaced the discriminatory 1899 Protection Act, marked a fundamental shift in Japanese government policy and created institutional support for Ainu cultural preservation. The establishment of the Upapoi National Ainu Museum and Park in 2020 represents a major commitment to Ainu cultural education and serves as a center for language revitalization efforts. These initiatives include documentation projects that are creating comprehensive archives of Ainu oral traditions, development of educational materials for language learning, and support for traditional artistic practices including textile production and wood carving. The tripartite ancestry model recently proposed for Japanese population origins, which includes ancient Jomon, Northeast Asian, and East Asian components, relies heavily on genetic information from Ainu populations to reconstruct the indigenous baseline from which other Japanese populations diverged. Without the genetic information preserved in Ainu populations, our understanding of Japanese population history would be fundamentally incomplete. Ainu genetic origins thus serves as a compelling reminder that human population histories are rarely simple stories of migration and replacement, but rather complex narratives of interaction, adaptation and resilience that continue to unfold in the present day.